Hi, this is Steven, and in this tutorial I want to talk about grouping in Maya. First, let's note that each object in Maya has its what's called transform node. And that transform node has our translate, rotate, and scale attributes. In the attri attribute editor you can also see uh, you have a shape node. It's the one that doesn't have the shape on it this is our transform node. A transform node also has a pivot point. Okay, so we've talked about parenting in early videos and we select two objects and whatever the last object we shift select is, we hit P, these will be um, become children of the parent object. Well grouping is the exact same thing except the top level of the hierarchy is not a uh, mesh object. It's an empty node but it does still have our uh, transform that has its own pivot point and uh, transform attributes. So I'm going to uh, shift P to undo this parenting relationship. And now to group you can either hit command G or go to edit group. And now uh, you see it looks very similar to the parenting except you have the three cubes and there is a node here that has its own attribute. So it has a, you can rotate, I'm rotating the group node. I can scale the group node, I can move the group node, but I'm not, it's not as it was before where it was a specific object. Okay, this can be very beneficial if you are animating something and you need a second pivot point possibly. Uh, very useful. Uh, when selecting in a group, uh, if you select, if, if you just select in the scene by default, you're going to be selecting the child. You can hit the up arrow to go up the hierarchy or the down arrow to go down the hierarchy. Uh, so up area, arrow will go to the group node down. Um, so that's that's about it for, for working with groups. Uh, very simple and I hope this will help you understand the difference between parenting and grouping that you'll be able to use this in your projects. Thanks for watching.